What is Ruby? Well, it's a general purpose object oriented programming language that merges Perl inspired syntax with small talk like features. Ruby originated in Japan in the mid 1990s. It's a dynamically typed interpreted language that runs in a virtual machine, like other technologies such as Java, the .NET Common Language Runtime, Erlang, Perl, Python, Smalltalk, and others. Ruby was popularized for its terse readable syntax, and its flexibility is an ideal language for metaprogramming, a great example of which was the Ruby on Rails web application framework. Though Ruby had been around for a long time before Rails was conceived, Rails can be credited for bringing Ruby to a mainstream audience of software developers who are ready for a new and more productive approach to developing web applications. Rails attracted converts from Java, C Sharp, PHP, as well as inspiring many copycat frameworks that borrowed ideas from Rails. Companies like Sun Microsystems saw synergies between the enthusiasm for Rails and their own technology offerings, and committed resources to supporting the integration of Ruby technology into its platform. The JRuby project, which brought an implementation of the Ruby language to the Java virtual machine, was started before Sun became interested in supporting Ruby. But Sun hired two developers who were already working on JRuby on their own to continue their efforts full time. Using JRuby, developers can write Ruby code that uses Java and Ruby libraries simultaneously. Let me show you an example. Let's say I wanted to do some metaprogramming to enforce a precondition on any calls to a method of a particular class. ArrayList is a standard class included in the JDK and is used for storing groups of objects. In the code sample, the ArrayList class is opened up so that I can include a module that I've written. Ruby modules are simply collections of methods that can be added to any class. And in this example, a module called Wrapper is being included in the ArrayList class. The effect of this is that all future instances of the ArrayList class will include any methods inserted into it by this module. Looking at the wrapper module shows that it declares a class scope method called included. This method is useful for metaprogramming because it is a callback method invoked by the Ruby interpreter whenever the wrapper module is included in any class. In the body of included, the class to which wrapper has just been added is asked for any public instance methods it declares, excluding any methods the class has inherited from any of its ancestors. For each method, the code will create an alias to that method so that it can be called later under a different name. The new method alias is made private, so that it doesn't clutter up the public interface of the class. Next, the code redefines the existing public method. In the example, the redefined method prints a message to the standard output indicating that the existing method name has been called, and then calls the original method using the alias created previously. The effect here is that the original method is wrapped by another method, which can enforce any business rules or behavior that is appropriate. Executing the code example shows the following output. In addition to helping bring Ruby to the JVM, Sun has also added first-class Ruby integration into NetBeans, their open-source Java development tool, becoming the first IDE to offer comprehensive development, debugging, and testing support for Ruby, Rails, and JRuby projects. Microsoft has also joined the fray of companies embracing Ruby, hiring a team of software developers to create IronRuby, which brings Ruby technology to the .NET platform. With IronRuby, .NET developers can reuse any c -sharp or other .NET platform library from Ruby code. This means that .NET developers have more choices for structuring their application architecture, including using Ruby as the glue for building domain-specific languages that drive their applications. Microsoft is also including support for Ruby in their Silverlight rich internet application technology. This will allow developers to extend Ruby's reach into the browser. Apple has also sponsored a Ruby language implementation project called MacRuby, with the goal of providing a way to create native Cocoa applications in Ruby. Many commercial tool vendors are in the business of offering products to the Ruby development market, including companies that sell products for deploying Ruby web frameworks to the Apache web server, products for monitoring deployed web applications, products for developing Ruby software, and others. Service vendors and cloud-based platform companies also offer products for customers that want to deploy their Ruby web applications. There are many options both for rapidly scaling up the number of servers participating in a Ruby web application deployment and storing infinite amounts of data securely. Book and other media publishers have been extremely busy in 2008, producing a huge number of resources for learning Ruby, Rails, and related technologies. With many implementations of the language in active development, feature-rich libraries and frameworks for creating server and client-side web software, as well as rich desktop applications, and active involvement from both open source and commercial interests, the future looks very bright for Ruby. Object Computing Incorporated is a software consulting, training, and open source support company. 
we specialize in a wide range of technologies from real-time solutions to dynamic languages with offices in St. Louis, Missouri and Tempe, Arizona. For more information, please visit OCIweb.com. Hey, future man, what does your badge signify? A badge? <laughs> it uh, signifies that I, I've never kissed a girl. I live with my parents. <laughs>